Okay, we're ready to go. What about you, Veronica? You can't help but notice that the Brotherhood barely exists to these people out here. We're like an urban myth, no real presence on the outside. We just don't adapt like we should. Used to be that all you needed to get your way was a suit of power armor and a laser rifle. Now, people are armed and organized. They're not afraid. But we still stick to our old approach because it's all we know. Eh. Prophet is living in the past. Eventually they'll have to change. I think you're right. We're getting desperate. Hardly enough people to sustain ourselves as a chapter. They'll see the light. Sooner or later. But I get the feeling if I don't take matters into my own hands, the change won't come in time to make a difference. Never yeah, mind. Come along, kid. See you around. We gotta get paid. You got a problem? No. Hi, boss lady. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You kept away the undesirables, patted down the rest for weapons, and kept your cool. That is to say, you performed as instructed. Simon was impressed, and so am I. So you get a small bonus with your normal pay. Oh, yay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, oh. and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. God damn it. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with, assuming you're still interested in making some money. Always. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? Yeah, sounds survivable. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Hmm. <laughs> Not bad. Glory's the one you want to talk to about working for us. I just handle the details. What do you think of these What's weapons? Up? Never mind. Okay, so... Somewhere near the pumping station. Let's make our way there. And all we have to do is head northeast. And it is a long road to Tipperary. Don't you agree? Durable Dan sacked caravan. Oh. These guards did not do well. Right side, we do need combat armor to refor reinforce our own. That's much better. Now maybe if that thing will over, you know, reflect at least a couple of bullets. some interesting buildings up there. Ah, hell. Thanks, Eddie. Always the sure shot. Well, this location looks discreet, and you look discreet. Hi. Are you the Van Graaff's emissary? I am. Do you have what we requested? Right here. Huh. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. Okay, no problem, you sketchy, Hello? sketchy man. Well, let's check out a few more buildings on the outskirts here. You never know what we can turn up. Hi, little friend. Veronica, punch him in his tail, punch him in his tail, punch him in his tail. 
You missed it. Whee! Good shot. Kid, I am starting to like you. I mean, you know Boone when it comes to killing stuff, but... Eh, close enough. So what we got here? More walls. Let's hope this time they're not surrounded by landmines. Holy effin... Is that a cow trying to kill me? and took down all the mole rats. That's not natural. And if I do say so myself, weird. Hey. Medical center. What do we have? Hi. Hi. How are you all doing? Hello. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. Holy shit. Implants? Tell me about the clinic. Everything you see is funded by the followers of the apocalypse. We rely a lot on charity to provide low-cost medical services to the less fortunate. Can I make a donation to the followers? Of course! We prefer bulk donations of 500 caps. It's apparently a lot easier on the accountants for some reason. Don't have to caps right now. No need to apologize. So, do followers have the headquarters here as well? Yes, the Mormon Ford in Freeside. It's hard to miss. Oh yeah, I've already been there. So, are you a follower? Yes, I am. I received my medical training at the Angels Boneyard Medical University back in the NCR. It's not a requirement to be a follower to enter the university, but I believe in what they do. So I joined them. So, are you part of the NCR We've as well? We've worked with them in the past. The NCR became too focused on things like patents and profitability, so the followers go their own way now. The NCR and the followers have a cool relationship at the moment. We see them as oppressive, and they view us as anarchists. Oh, uh, what's a nice relationship? What do followers believe in? We believe that technology for basic necessities like food, water, and medicine should be shared, not hoarded. We're also strongly in favor of proper education. I've come across more than a few doctors whose techniques came out of the back of a magazine. Oh, don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's why I learned all my, all right. uh... Sort of skills. Sell anything? I have reserved a small part of my supplies for sale. The profits go directly to the purchase of additional supplies to help the less fortunate. Good God. Let me see. You guys You're all... back. Christ himself. So what do you have for sale? Because you're a friend of the followers, I can give you a bit of a discount. Awesome. Um. To be honest, you don't really have much I need. I'll have a doctor's bag. Um. water, I guess. It's useful. Tell me about these implants. I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. Make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. That sounds awesome. 
One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? Well, make me smarter. For 4,000 caps, I can install a logic coprocessor. Sure. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. A few hours? What? Ah. Ah. Oh, my head hurts. You're back. Do you need medical? No. I'm here for more implants. All right. Let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle another implant. All right. You're healthy enough to handle another one. Which surgery are you considering? Can you make me... more charismatic? The empathy synthesizer will allow you to more easily pick up on subtle emotions and body language. The price is 4,000 caps. Deal. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Oh, why does it always have to be in the skull? You're back. Implant, please. Oh. Agility, that's always a good one. The reflex booster does exactly what it says. Speeds up your reaction times. For 4,000 caps, I can attach the implant to your central nervous node. Go on. Have a oh, seat in the auto dock. Nervous node. Oh, I like my node. Evening. Christ. I'm less man, I'm more machine now. Also, I need water. Is there a sink near here? Oh, please tell me these function. No, none of these things are fucking functioning. At all. Hello. You're always welcome among the followers. Also quite like sleep. Friend. Okay. And a healthy lunch of some pork and beans. That's not bad. Right. Good God. I'm like the Ubermensch now. Seriously. Da 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 Superman. Good God. Hello. All right, let's see if we can. You're back. Get another one. All right. Make me more The nociception regulator modifies your cardiovascular system, and you won't tire as quickly. The price is four thousand caps, same as most other implant. Well, at least it's not going in my head. Have this a seat time. in the auto. You're back. All right. Let me do a quick test to make sure your body... I'm afraid you can't handle any more implants right now. Your body isn't durable enough to take it. Sorry. Oh, no. Seriously? But I just boosted up my durability. Should be extra durable. Ah, shit. I should've just gone for endurance or perception. Man. No, that sucks. Well, on the bright side. I do kinda kick ass now. Well, kicking more ass than before. Kicking hellish amounts of ass than before. Okay, uh... Let's head to a strip. When I say head to the strip, head to the strip main gate. And then we just go around Gloria. Go around the corner and we find Gloria.
shouldn't take too long at all. Hmm. This is strange. For some reason... Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapon needs. My head feels slightly heavier now. Do you think it's all that metal I just had inserted in it? Couldn't be, could it? Welcome back. Did you have news for me? Or are you just here for the guns? Packages requested. And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was there? You'll hear from them soon. Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh. Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. Jean-Baptiste scares me. Ah, just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. Okay, My sister yeah. is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Well, fuck you. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? Sure. All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you'd probably see in a lifetime. I don't know, I was Your pretty Your partner is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. Who's this girl? Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her. Bring her here so I can talk to her. One on one. Ah, uh, she's in the Mojave Outpost. I know her. Really? NCR all around her. Well, tell you what. You find a way to bring her here. She'll want to hear what I have to say. Okay, I'll let her know. Find her, bring her back here so we can talk. Needless to say, there's some good money in it for you. Well, that sounds like a fun little enterprise. What could go wrong? Hello. Just fetch Cass. Right, let's make our way to Mojave. Ugh. Veronica, you seriously are a chatterbox. Walking all this goddamn way. Couldn't get a word in edgeways. The Ranger vets are on their way from Baja. Never s Oh, that kinda reminds What's me. What's up? Uh, yeah, I might have brought you out here, but um, you need to go back. Why does everyone always say that? Meet me in Lucky 38. Nice! Can I order room service? What? No, don't Two bankrupt me. Four. Damn it. I heard they chew nails. Napalm. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? Uh, Jean Baptiste in Freeside wanted to meet you. Jean Baptiste? Sounds like someone got knocked out of the good book so hard his name broke. Either that, or it's Canadarian or some such shit. So who is this Baptiste, and what does he want? He's with the Van Graffs. The only Van Graffs I know are the ones out west. Well, except for Gloria Van Graff, and I don't know her all that well. Nor do I want to. Don't have any objections speaking with him. Though if he's with the Van Graffs, he should know I'm not looking to buy weapons. Yeah, I want to ask you something What's else. No. So, uh, come along with me. Go with you? Do you really want to stay in this shithole? Hmm. The outpost lost its charm about three bottles ago. And that was just this morning. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. Alright. I'm in. Sweet. Go on. Once here, most just stall out. Can't go deeper into territory. The rain. 
Sun cast. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. Sure, no problem. Where was it hit? <sighs> Upside of Vegas, hear tell? Trapped at the Mojave outpost. So I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit. So the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. How do you catch word of it? Got word back on what happened from Rangers. Guess they found enough in the wreckage to identify it. Shit. Anything left? <sighs> Only wishful thinking on my part, most likely. At the least, I'd like to pay my respects. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. Let's go then. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. Alright. I had questions, my boy. Where do you get the pendant? Gift for my dad, along with my name. Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Mom said he got the name out of some old world book about dirt pilgrims. Name sure sounds sweet, though. Anyway, pendant's a little rose. Originally thought it was one of Mom's tribal necklaces, but no. Came from Dad. Your mother was a tribal? You know, like one of the tribes from the East. We got them out west, too. NCR's hardened them up, though, domesticating them. Mom was from east of the Colorado, though. Not sure what tribe. It was before the time Caesar rounded them up, made them legion. She walked a hell of a way until she crossed paths with my dad, and he convinced her to stop walking. And lucky for me, he was a horny old bastard. That's one way to put it. Didn't ask Mom to elaborate. Never heard her complain about his bedroom behavior. Only complain he wasn't around to do it no more. Well, tell me about your dad, at least. Not much to tell. He ended up walking east one day when I was young and never came back. Not a family deserter like some, though. Mom died waiting for him, and she had me to raise. She was sick, but she held off dying until I was old enough to be getting into trouble with the boys. As for Dad, I figure he just got himself lost or dead. Happens. And I'm not all boo-hoo about it, so save your glass for someone who's crying. Any idea why you went east? Not a clue. When he left, I was too in my crib to understand why, and around the time Mom passed, I was too into my teens to listen. Got his name, got this pendant, and that's about it. Where did you learn to shoot, then? Short of caps is what taught me, mostly. Ammo's expensive, so I learned to make every shot count. And here tell my dad was a crack shot. So I don't want to dirty the family name. Not out of pride. Respect. And the dynamite? Dynamite's for when you don't have enough bullets. Want to clear a pass or scare off geckos from a caravan. Some of Twisters out of the Divide can block off a pass in no time. So you learn how to handle powder so you don't get trapped somewhere. Any event, I prefer shooting if it comes down to an argument. Don't worry. I'll carry my weight if a disagreement arises. Any other weapons you know how to use? What? You mean like spears? No, none of that. Mom was a tribal, but she didn't teach me anything like that. All right, let's go. Ranger vets are on their way. Cassidy Caravans. Oh, that's not too far. From Baja. Never. Like, that's near the Allied Technology Offices. We were right next to there. Oh, shit. Where the fucking Jesus did get fiends get all these energy weapons from? Good God. Better well equipped than the frigging Legion was. Ah, abandoned warehouse. This doesn't sound sketchy. It's not bother there. Do you 
like it. Sounds like laser fire. Christ, keep your heads down. Okay, so this is it. God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. Who would have done this during the day? No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them, walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. Least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. Uh, no problem, Cass. Whiskey. Surgeon. His energy cells used. You know what? What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back, and the caravan been burned too, along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake, and that other caravan got hit with energy weapons too. Want to go check it out? Yeah. It's a ways though. Hell of a detour. You sure? Yeah, let's go. All right then. Hmm. Yeah, everything's raided. Right, the northwest of Vegas. Not too far when you think about it. It's all flat land. Careful with those fiends in the western sewers. Ah, don't worry, we can deal with them. Now we just take a little shortcut. Eddie, Cass? Yeah. Guess they didn't want to make the jump. Hell's bells, this thing's in the middle of nowhere. Electrical substation. Yeah, I'll get close enough to get the coordinates. Jot it down in my pit, boy. Let's start this deal. Sure, it wasn't damn fiends who attacked your caravan. You could hide from me. I mean, Jesus! Look at how many of them are packing these energy weapons. Patriot's cookbook. Huh. More water. That was a good ambush spot. This is probably where they got them from. 
Okay, so it's directly west on the road here. Christ. Can't tell if these were all pre-war or... If the NCR built them. Oh, there's crops still growing. The amount of fiends out here. Huh. Surprised there's anybody left. Bingo. More energy weapons hit this caravan. Place has been picked clean. The plot this. Thickens. Is brotherhood level murder here? But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Let's poke around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage. Some kind of clues have got to be here. Empty milk bottles, plasma rifle. What's that? Looks like a map. Got the route along the west of Vegas, and they've marked another spot. Over here, along this stretch. That's fucked up. Middle of nowhere. Wanna check it out? Yeah. Something's wrong. I can feel it. It's not any closer than the first. So if you'd rather let be, let me know. Hell no. We'll make time. All we are fucking invested now. And shit, I know exactly where this one is. Another caravan burned. Except someone made camp here. And I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something stinks. I think we found culprit. I recognize that armor anywhere. This man is a Van Graaff. Nothing of any value left in here. Some kind of concrete evidence, though, some kind of proof. A note? Perhaps? The corpse isn't just enough. That does it. That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm gonna get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. There's another way. We take them down with the NCR. NCR? Are you out of your fucking mind? That'd take years. And with the war with the Legion, no way they're gonna waste time running up the Crimson Caravan or the Van Graffs. The arms for Van Graffs will last longer, and travel back west. Alright. If you poke around the Van Graffs and Alice, fine. But if I see either one go into their camp, I'm gonna start shooting, no matter what you find. Okay, let's All move. right, then. You find any evidence yet? Not yet. I held off on filling them full of holes. So unless you give me a good reason to cool my heels soon, I'm not waiting much longer. Okay. All right, let's find this evidence, then. <laughs> 